Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the Death Road to Canada. I am Bogwan, and, uh, you know what? Let's brave the smell. Hmm. We were able to sleep, but it, 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 oh, we have terrible morale. We're starving. It is, it's not good. Pamela leaves or Bernard does. You know what, Pamela, say it, don't spray it. Says so straight. Bernarda gets so angry about that this that she can't even talk. Well, at least Pamela's morale improved. Oh. Uh yeah, let's visit the traders. Maybe we can mug them. Hello, witch. Ooh. I like the triple exclamation mark. I haven't watched it only once, I'm busy with my wish activities. Cool it! Also, nice cauldron. Not uh oh. Which throws her in the cauldron. Pamela's max health reduced to one. But her no, oh, but her dex increased. And we have to flee. Ha! Huh. Well, let that be a lesson to you. If you ever find yourself in a zombie apocalypse, be nice to witches. Oh, who has to leave the group now? It's the dog. I'm sorry, dog. Pamela feels pretty smug about this. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Cut her, Pamela's cut herself pretty badly. All right, Pamela. You know what, Pamela? Cauterize that wound. Let's see. Imitate something she saw while watching the movie Rambo. Um, she gets the knife really hot. It quits right in the cut. Cauterize it. Pretty bad idea. The pain's extreme, though the bleeding stops and there's no loss of strength in the arm. I don't know. Oh, was a is it was a morale hit? That's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Usha gets to be going with Pamela. Say don't spray. Usha takes the advice to heart. What if she was always held back by this habit of spraying and some saying it? A tearful emotional breakthrough happens. Yes! Oh, look at that. Now they have great morale. A crowded Yalmart. Yeah, we need we need supplies. We desperately need supplies. And the zombies are sluggish, which is uh, which is good. And I've got I got those I can hit zombies with. Okay, there's some food, cleavers. Oh, there's lots of food around actually. Oh yes. Stopping here was a great idea. Food, food. Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight, everybody. Oh, let's go down here. Food, food, food. Zombie. Gas. Even better. Meat cleaver. The better to cleave zombies with. Door, actually. There we are. The better to deal with these current zombies. But hopefully without getting interrupted. Mm -hmm. Alright, just need to go over here. Yes! Things are going good. I think this could be where our luck turns around. A little ammo. I mean, to be fair though, Lord Humongoid was was a big issue. Got the skeleton. Oh no! She oh she's bleeding now. That's going to get their attention. No! No! Oh, uh, Bernarda, you've been with us so long. It's a good question, though. She should have a gun on her. Let's see if we can get that gun back. There it is. 
We need that. More ammo, more food. Oh! A shotgun! Nope, I want the shotgun. Give me the shotgun. And rent should do. Alright, well... It wasn't a perfect trip. But you know what? Uh, I, I think Pamela... Pamela would... Well, not Pamela. Um, Pamela, Bernardo, Bernarda, they will... Uh, now they've got food and medicine and guns. I think they have a much better chance of things. I got a decent meal, improving our morale. Rain apparently irritates zombies. Okay, let's see. So they're down the death road when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consume the team. Pick someone to blame. You know, cooling it's worked so well, pretty good so far. Tells Bernard to cool it. Beads of nervous sweat roll down Pamela's face. Yet nothing can be proven. And now her, her morale hit the tank. Oh. Mm -mm. Bernarda, under intense pressure, starts to get shaky hands from stress. Medical and mechanical decreased. Hey, we got 20 food. We can visit the traders. Mm. Yeah. Apparently. Ah. Experience in medical matters, but evasive when asked what her practice was. But you know what? Another person on the team? Sounds good to me. Mm. Yeah, I think I think we're actually have to gonna have to resort to robbing people. I saw axes, just axes. And leave that be. Mm. Alright, he's just got guns. You've got what do you have? Ammo. Let's rob her. <laughs> this guy was just lying about not using firearms and sent some extra bullets towards the group. And I got pistol ammo. Pamela's killed. Well, that could have gone a whole lot better. Ran actually slams her hand in the car door and in anger. She gets out and kicks a tire over her toe. This makes her blow a gasket. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. The River of Death. The group arrives in a huge city conquered by undead. Only chance of breaking a sewer system. There's a thick swarm hunting down there, and it's near sunset. <sighs> you don't need that. All right. All right. Yeah. You gotta run. Run, run, run! Nope. Oh, I... I charged! Oh, this is... Jamie's left alone. And, oh, no, there, no, no. The closest I've ever gotten to Canada was three days away. Three days. You know, I think we can do one more shot of the death road. You know, third time's the charm, right? New game. Ping! The big bruiser with a mysterious past. And the buddy. Ooh, healthcare with a mysterious. Couple of people with a mysterious past hitting the road together. Alright. Ping here's rumors that Canada's a safe place. Free of the threat of the zombies. It's a great melee weapons for high stat people. Night sword. Sturdy machete. Fire axe and sledgehammer. Mm, it's true. Uh, if you don't have good strength and fitness, um, obviously, those stats don't do so good. But of course we're going to hit the wall. The, the Yal Mart. Because we do want... We do want to go bargain hunting. And Ethan has a cane and she's got nothing. Well, that is concerning. Hmm. 
Hopefully we can find some, some stuff in here. Well, at least the zombies are quiet. Urgh. Grab that! Scissors. Guess that's a start. I mean, it's not a great weapon. Scissors against zombies. It's not the ideal. But you know what? I'll take what I can get sometimes. Ooh, a starting shotgun. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Mm -hmm. yeah, washrooms look empty. More bullets. Some more shotgun shells. All right. You know, it's a, it's a start. It's it's a start. I prefer uh, something a little a little tougher. I'd take a cleaver, I'd take a frying pan. You know. Hmm. Ooh. Berries? And, or, you know what? We can sleep later. I want the food. That's two days food, right? Uh, Ethan and Peng hitting the road to Canada. She's running fine, but an air coach shows up on the dashboard. Ping, carefully inspect it. Finds the problem. It was just a loose gas cap, easy to fix. Okay. And Ping's mechanical got a little bit better. Not bad. You know, this is certainly half nice. What do we got here? Ooh, a bar or the apartment with help banner. Groggy, it's early in the day. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. 7 a.m. That's that's pretty pretty early. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, well, there's a toilet with some fuel and junk. Yeah, I definitely need some. Some better weaponry if I can get it on my ha uh, hands on it. Oh, that's not good. He needs a better weapon too. Well, here we are. Hey, buddy. Nice axe you got there, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Join the group. You've got an axe. I hope you can use it. There we are, yes! Use that axe. Use it for great justice! Mm -hmm. Medicine, good, good. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's... Here's an interesting musing. I'm sure I'm not the only YouTuber you watch. But what would be your, uh... Your collection. If you had to put a, a group of four YouTubers together as your team of heroes to try to brave the death road, who would you take along? Who could survive it? Who could make it to Canada? Right. That's... Oh, well, there's a way up here. Might be more places to loot. Cause we're still looking for some for some better gear, right? And we are definitely finding it. Well, we're definitely finding supplies. Which I will take. Just as long as you don't meet that Lord Humongoid anymore. <sighs> mm 
Uzi. Okay. Guns are good. I approve of guns. Though I don't know how good they are sh at, at actually shooting people with the guns. But you, know, you take what you can get on the death road. So it does make me wonder, though. So they were down in Florida, right? Is there not a not a big zombie problem in Florida for some reason? Well, if if not, why is that the case? Do zombies just, are zombies just not a fan of Florida? Break free! Alright, let, let's lure some of these guys in here. Alright. Let's make a let's make a run for it now, I think. I think we've we've risked all we need to risk here. We got our new buddy. Everybody in the car. In the road. And then we can take a little break here. Come back shortly. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm curious who you think could make it. Or whatever will just die on the road. See you soon.